Yeah, so we ditched the bucket list very early. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so many people would tell me to write a bucket list and I'd start writing a bucket list and then I'd get so upset and so angry about it that I'd get rid of it and then I'd have a period of time where I was like, oh, I need some direction and we need to do something, we need to be excited about something, so I'd start again and then I'd get angry at it. Um, and I think that's because a lot of the things that I would want on my bucket list would never be achievable. You know, my idea of a holiday is to a country like East Timor, but going and doing that kind of work now as a cancer patient is not the smartest thing to do when it comes to my health. So I felt that I couldn't do that. Um, and then things like going back to uni, um, like for me, looking at a bucket list was my grand plans, cancer or no cancer. Um, having children so it just ended up upsetting me too much and then I started writing a bucket list which is things that were achievable but I was like they're not exciting me so I kind of made my own little bucket list which isn't really a bucket list it's things that I try and include in my everyday life um, which I've been very slack with um, so I made a list of just things little luxuries that you just don't do so making sure we have fresh flowers at home um, having champagne in the fridge, drinking out of your fine china, not leaving it for a special occasion, getting your nails done. Just weird, fun things that you can actually go, oh, this is making my day good, instead of being disappointed. Um, they're achievable things and yeah, I love my little bucket list.